It's the story of a couple. His hand holds her waist. He almost makes her topple with the strength of his embrace. Lips against lips. It takes place in Paris. Paris, city of lights, city of love, of bright nights in another time. One I've never known. The young man with wind in his hair, the young girl, her head tilted slightly. Paris must be used to it. How many lovers have kissed on the paved boulevards like nothing else mattered? How many locks were locked on the bridges? How many rings exchanged? The lovers aren't alone. People bustle around them. The street is busy. Blurs of coats and hats twirl in the frame. And all I can catch is them. Still. In focus. Their love captures my eyes, travels through time and space, spreads a smile across my face. Only they know they are the only ones in the world. She'll say je t'aime. And it'll sound better in her mouth than in any other, and so he'll say it back effortlessly. They must be twenty. 1950. They lived through a war that I will never see, and so they kiss like no one watches, especially not me, and like it could all end tomorrow. Yet they kiss like the world holds nothing but beauty. And we stare. How could we not? When something so pure, so strong, comes together perfectly, there is calm in their wild embrace as the world spins and fights and dances and lives and dies. There is something so simple in their kiss, so vital, so lucky. And I'll admit, I'd like to be in the windblown hair boy's arms in Paris in 1950, but oh well, in the end. In 1950 or 2050. Paris or New York, under skies of rain, or rays of sun, at war, or at peace, bombs or birds, this is a story of love. And maybe we all get that kiss. Maybe not in Paris, but somewhere, sometime. It's just love after all, complex and simple, ephemeral and vital. Common and theory. Maybe we all get lucky. Hey, let's just talk. Yeah, about about anything, really. Let's just talk. 